After being gone for three days, it feels really good to be back and cruising around on this little death machine and hoping we didn't lose our um, fantastic ability to drive at super high velocities and not end up dying. Yeah, that's how we're going to word that. So welcome back to the channel, guys. I don't know why it's so freaking dark. It's 6.30 in the morning. Come on, son. I need you to wake up, you know, pop up into the sky and illuminate everything. Did I just run over a rabbit? I didn't even see what I ran over. So, after the uh, wonderful looting excursion that we did over at the uh, airport the last couple days, I've got an almost full inventory full of loot that I'm bringing over here to Dr. Donna to sell. Her house should be right in front of me. Look at that. I made it here first try without running into anything. I'll be damned. It can happen. So, we're going to sell a whole bunch of things. Now, I have 91 and change on me. Look how much crap I have to sell. This is, I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff over there, too, but this is just what I have so far. We should have more than enough to buy the portal power source thingy. And from that, we can make ourselves a laser workbench. And then from that, I think we can make laser weapons? I don't know. I, we'll find out when we get over there if it's going to be one of those, oh, well, you have the workbench now, but you got to be in level 150 before you can actually make the little pew-pews to go with it. But first things first, what are we going to do? We're here to buy. I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Do you have apple pie? Okay, I was checking to see if maybe she had anything on her that would be useful for adding additional bonuses. You know, like some cheesecake. I don't. I can't make that here. Mechanic mastery, hunter mastery. Still the same ones. All right, well, we have a bunch of stuff to sell. Let's see how much money we can make out of this. Ta-da! We have 134,000 money. So we ended up with about 40-something and change. 43,000 worth. I can't sell these because he doesn't want this. I guess he has too many of those, and I already had some shovels, and then this one I can't sell. Cause... Never mind. Maybe I just forgot to click that one. Did I forget to click you? I'm not selling my military fiber. I need that. I need that. I need those. So, 134000 Now, if I'm not mistaken, that would be under resources, or would it be under science? Probably science. Where, wait, hold on. Where, where's, where's it at here? Isn't a portal power source? There it is. 96250 Oh, that hurt. That hurt a whole lot. I'm not even going to lie. We're down to 38,000. Ugh, that, that hurt. Thanks for letting me take care of you. You're welcome. And tell your friends. I will right, we'll do that. Laser workbench. I can make one. We need... Hold on, which one? This one, we have to have a laser workbench. So this one is where we have to have energy cells. I have electrical parts. I hope I have. Forged titanium. If I don't have, I can get it started. We only need the metal workstation for that. Lovely! One step closer being ready to go over and take on the final bunker. And you know, I'm probably speaking completely out my butt by saying this, but after how well we handled the airport, three days of a really top tier level POI, and barely even took any damage because we straight up beasted it the whole time, I feel like I could do pretty good against probably 95% of the final bunker over there. There's a whole lot more gigantic, super reinforced doors that I could tear, or not tear apart, but close to section off certain areas I could throw down some random hatches now and then I feel like with proper precautions and taking my time that I could absolutely just go walk through there and just decimate everybody yeah and we still need to go back through this little area over here too but that's gonna be a problem for future cap if that even happens just because that's just a good way to waste a whole lot of ammo slow slow driving through the trees I need to stop going so freaking fast that's how we keep running into trees, is I'll think, oh, I'm not going to hit the tree trunk on this one, and then, bam, what do you know, we hit a tree trunk. Ooh, hang on. Let me uh, get back to the house real quick and drop off this stuff and get the laser workbench going, or whatever I need to get the laser workbench going. You know what? Hang on. I'll put you up here for now, and just so I can go top off my water while we have it here. We need to gather up all of our crops that we have here, because I'm going to need a bunch of the blueberries, I know, in order to be able to make some more ink or something along those lines. But I need to go get my hoe to do that first. All right, let's go inside and drop off some things we don't have to have on real quick. Let me see, like, you, you, and you. I don't need on me right this second. I've got space for money. Okay, so do I have enough forged titanium? Oh, yeah, I forgot I made some more... Uh, 762 coil round two laser workbench so this is what we need here power cells energy so forged titanium is what i haven't made yet okay i should be able to do that pretty easily there's my bullet casings forged titanium i can make 55 that's perfect because i need 50 and that won't take very long to do at all nice 
I love how fast that is. That's just stupid fast. I like it a whole lot. Laser workbench. It's going to take five minutes to do it. Oh, man. It it hurts me using that much. It, it, I, it's stuff I need, but y'all have watched me play this long enough. You know, it, it, hurts to, it hurts to do that. I'm not going to lie. So you got five minutes to go on that. Okay. Not a big deal. What I do need to do... Because we are on day 68, and it won't be too long before we have to start working on the horde base. Uh, which, probably tomorrow. I'm not doing it today. We got time. I'm going to come over here and see how bad this is, because I have flushed that memory from my brain onto how bad things went over here last time. I mean, we su we survived. Don't get me wrong. The base took a little bit of extra damage, but we survived. I mean, it was, it was borderline cakewalk, honestly. Okay, so ground level definitely needs a little bit of love. Towers... Took some damage. How's the ladders? They're doing okay. Okay, so the ladders are intact. I think, looks like there might be one or two missing from that spot. What I wanted to come over here and check to see. Oh, nice. Look, this entire ladder system's still in place. Ha ha. Okay, don't fall off. Um, Sledgy? <laughs> you look so sad. Just hanging out here in this absolute haggard base. <laughs> I feel bad for you, man. I really do. Oh, yeah, because we had a blow-up happen, like, right around here, removed some of the floor. What I wanted to come see real quick is to how much supplies I have over here. Okay, so I've got almost two full stacks of cement. Oh, that's lovely. No cobblestone, some mechanical parts, uh, switches, fence posts. I have those, so I can replace that. Some rockets, rocket frag ammo. Oh, that's fantastic. We need to make sure we take this with us when we go to the final pairing here. Some electrical parts. Okay, so what we need most of, we'll need more cement. Because that's enough to do, what, 190 blocks? 19, no. Yeah, hun, yeah. Okay, so 190 blocks. We're going to have to do quite a bit of repairs on that. We need to get some more cobblestones. We need to get some more rocks and some more clay, which I have some at the house. But at least I kind of know. I was kind of curious as to how much effort I was going to need to spend on making sure, holy cow, that it was okay over here. Let me just, there we go. And go ahead and remove you and remove you. Just to kind of tidy up a little bit. So yeah, that one took some damage there. Uh, there's a wall missing from here. This ladder seems like it's intact all the way down. So it's not so bad. There's a lot of cosmetic damage to this. There's definitely some missing blocks, and this looks terrible. How are these? Yeah, we need to we need to make sure we do some reinforcements on all of this. Because if they manage to take down both of these and these start crumbling, that could cause some problems over there, maybe. Um, I don't know. That's a problem for not me. I mean, it's a problem for me, just not currently. That's a future cat problem. We'll probably work on that tomorrow. We're going to go back home. We're going to do some odds and ends around the house today while we're waiting for our laser bench to finish being crafted. And then we kind of see the stuff there. What I'm, what I'm really hoping doesn't happen is that we get this thing crafted and then I'm, you know, not a high enough level to actually oh, make good. anything on it. Yep, it is. All right, let's go see Brucey boy here. What's up, Bruce? Well, don't lose your head, man. Uh, let's see. It's been a minute since we've been over here. Eh, coffee hasn't re restocked itself yet. No big deal at all. Okay. Uh, let me throw a few things in over here that we just randomly picked up. I don't need on me right this second. You're good to go. All right. How much? Uh, actually, how much? Let's see. We got 500 cement here. A whole bunch of clay. What about rocks? We got 186 rocks. Did I leave any more in over here? Because sometimes I do. No, I did not. All right. How close are you to being done? A minute 12. Okay. Well, tell you what. While I'm waiting for you to do your thing, let's go over and do some hoeing. We can get the uh, plants that we actually have completed over here gathered up. Make sure there's not a random horde going to jog by. I think we're okay for the moment. There we go. Everything is nice and gathered. Let me see. Anything in here? A little bit of stuff. A little bit of stuff. Okay, so you're good. I'm not making anything with you currently. This is my oil digging thingamajig. I need to check up on the roof too because I haven't checked up there in a minute. Let's see how much honey we have. See if our coops have produced anything. Uh, I don't have any animal feed in there, so it's not producing anything. Uh, same thing with that one. And oh, that one's got a few things. Some eggs in there. Cool. Cool. All right. We got some stuff. Let's see how we ended up here. 26 oranges, 16 apples, a bunch of bananas, blueberries, potatoes, carrots. Well, that's pretty good a haul, considering how much effort I don't put into my farming. That's not terrible. And our laser workbench is done. I don't think I've ever got this before. That's not very big. I wonder if I could... Ooh, I can. 
I'll put you right there. What do you need up top here? You need a wrench, a hammer, a thingamajig, one of those, and one of those. I think I have some of those. I didn't sell all of those. So one of you, one of you. Uh, let's see, extra hammers. I have one of you. And let me see, take a low level one of those. And what was the other thing I needed? A wrench, that's what it was. Okay, so you, you, and you can go up there. I just need an extra wrench. Surely I have an extra wrench laying around, right? There's that one. Yeah, okay, we'll go ahead and take you. I don't mind, I don't mind putting you behind. You, I need to move back over here. And let's put you up here. And boom. We are maxed out on the stuff that we can make here. Now... What kind of laser stuff can we make? A laser multi-tool, laser multi-site, laser carbine. See, this is where I was worried about it here. Eh. La to make a laser carbine here, we're going to have to be into... Where's it at? L technology crafting, a much higher level. So this is where we are. Technology crafting in order to be able to make... Unlocks the laser sword, power hammer, plasma. See, this one you got to be in level 95 to get there. And I'm in level 82. So we're a long ways away from that being a thing. And I don't remember. Can I make any more titanium bolts? I don't think I can. Titanium bolts. No, I cannot. I have to have my master hunting or bow crafting all the way up. That's unfortunate. Well, that's exactly what I was kind of afraid was going to happen. Is we were going to get the laser bench going here and then we can't really use it for much. Um... I'm sure there's things in here we could use. There's probably some stuff in here. Feel free to fill the comments full of things that I can actually make that would be useful. Kind of scrolling through there and see a lot of cosmetic stuff. A lantern. Ooh, that could be useful. See what other kind of things we have. Metal workstation I already have. Mechanics workstation I don't need. And that's really about it. I'm assuming it probably makes everything a whole lot cheaper than some of the other stuff. Like, oh, I don't, I'm about to say, how come I can't make that? And then there's things down here that I can make. A fuse and forge. Is that just pretty much like the more advanced forge of what I have now? Because that's cool. Another laser workbench, part of a lathe, sci-fi double door. Yeah, let's slap one of those on our building we have here. Titanium shapes, sinks and toilets, sci-fi single door. So, we are we still got a ways to go before we can do any of that. That's kind of sad, isn't it, Genesis? It's kind of sad. It's kind of what I expected. So, here's what I'm going to do. Um, when we were over there, we unlocked all of these treasures. We've got one of each. There's five over here now, so I don't think it'll let me get another one going. Let's try here. Let's try Claude, see if it'll let me... Oh, it will. Okay. Can do. Okay. So that was the thing I was worried about as to how many different treasure chests I can actually get at one time going. And apparently a whole lot. I think in vanilla, you can only get one from each of the named people, which I think there's five. So I think you can only get five at a time in vanilla, and then it's just like, eh, eh, nope, you can't do it. So, we are not going to be able to use the laser workbench for a good little while. We're probably going to have this game beat before we even get to the laser workbench. But that's okay. We're going to go over and dig up this chest and stuff. Now, what I may do is run over and see what Trader Joel has for me. Is this the fake trader? This is the fake trader. Excuse me. That would be funny if it put the dig quest inside the fake trader's compound there. That would just be kind of funny. Kind of sad. Kind of funny. Okay, I was about to say, don't be in the road. Ooh, airdrops, yes! We've been getting some good stuff from airdrops. Drop it right on my house. Hey, Al, did you see that? That's going to be mine. I know you think you wants it, but you can't have it. Throw that on there real quick. Come here, big Al. Spank your booty. All right, let's fire up our tablet and see where this is at here. X-ray mode. Nice, it's actually under the dirt and not sitting in, underneath the road. Ta-da! We did it. Easy peasy. Now, if I could just reach that one block that happened to go all the way down, that'd be even better. There we go. Well, we popped a lockpick on that one, but it's okay. That's stuff. Yeah. Stuff and things. Mostly ammo. This I could sell for a little bit. Most of the stuff is just stuff I'll stick back into a treasure chest somewhere. We go over and get that airdrop, though, before it even lands, probably. We've been getting some good stuff. I think one of the more recent airdrops we got had a mastery book in there. Now, the one I still need the most of is the survivalist. Because I think that's the only one I don't have out of all of the things that we've been doing. I don't have that one. And that one would be quite beneficial because it would allow me to be able to make the big backpack. And even though I have up to right here, I'd still be able to not be chonky. And that would be great. Okay. 
just more stuff. That was that was meh game. Meh, I tell ya. Get rid of you. That was just absolutely meh. Okay, well, let's go over and see what Trader Joel has for us. Maybe he's got a fun job for us. Ooh, random trick-or-treating bag. What you got? That's better than the airdrop. It's not fantastic stuff. It's better than the airdrop. Hey, um, do you happen to have a repair kit on you? You do. Nice. You got a stack of them. I appreciate that. Because I may or may not have accidentally crashed this. Shocking to nobody. At least I have repair kits with me, so when... I crash and burn into a tree or a rock or a mountain or whatever that's going to cause me to crash and burn, I can at least repair it and keep going. Which is not normal. That's not how we normally do things here. You stay right over there. All right, Jill. It's been a minute since we've been here. What's Something up? You like? I don't know. Do you have any other work? No. Do you have any new recipes? No. I check that all the time and I know you don't. All right, I have a couple things if you want to buy them. Like, I don't need another beaker. I think I have plenty of those. Buy nanobite stuff at all. Do you have any Do you have any mastery books? No. Okay, do you have anything that would be useful at all to me? You don't have a single thing that I want at all. What kind of jobs you got? Fetch and clear, fetch and clear, fetch and clear. All these are fetch and clears. Army post, that one will suck. Trader gins? Oh, this is the... Oh, okay, so I'm going to guess this is that very first one that he tried to send us to back when we first started doing some stuff to there, and it was a fake Trader gins. You know, that's kind of north of town there. Grand Forks Estate, Trader Joel. I don't think we've actually cleared that one. Let's go to that Thank one. Thank you, friend. I, you the man. I am the man. I am. Thank you for saying it out loud. I appreciate that. I am the man. How's my inventory space? Oh, we're good. It's a trader compound. There's not going to be that much random crap there. He says before we show up, and it's absolutely chock full of random crap. So I know for a fact that we've cleared Trader Jens out. Don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it was a mission he sent us there first, and it was I was like excited because, you know, hey, Trader Jen, but no. Oh, crap. You didn't see anything. We didn't just evaporate a rock and mock Jesus here. Don't hit a tree. Oh, my God, we didn't hit a tree there. Wow, that's just, that's just crazy. Anyway, I don't think I've ever gone through and cleared this one out. There's the official Trader that's right down the road over here. We've been there a couple times. But as far as this fake one over here, I don't think I've ever actually gone by it. I mean, I've ever gone in it. Oh, we're going to catch some air. Oh, man, I thought we were going to jump over the fence. Oh, that was going to be sweet. The dirt was like, nay, nay, we can't allow that. Not happening, sir. And I'm going to run over all the horrible stuff to get over here. Of course I am. Okay, let's do this. This one shan't be too difficult. It shan't, I say. Make sure everything's reloaded. Actually, let's get a little steak and taters in this real quick. And I might as well drink a little bit of red tea as well. Just get everything kind of topped off before we run in here and beat on things. I'm going to guess that this is not going to be too bad. This is a tier 3, so realistically it could be bad. But I just don't feel like it's going to. Oh, also, before I wake up everybody, which is probably going to happen, um, I did put some couple skill points into threat assessment. I put them down into here because that's all I had. I had... Four, I think, and I put three in here. So I can see all the way up to decaying, radiated, and radiated zombies. So if I go into crouch mode, so you can see, like, in, now on the little compass up there, it's got the little icon, the little player icon. You see, normally it only shows up for animals, but now it's highlighting to let me know, hey, by the way, there's zombies. So I can see those a little bit better. See, like, right up over there. And somebody mentioned something. I want to try something real quick. That if you're using the, yeah, if you use the tablet to highlight where all the zombies are, they all stand up. How cool is that? Whoops, we missed. Oh, good. XP with legs. He ducked. He ducked. I see a doggy up there, I think. Okay, we're starting off with fantastic aim. That's great. Nope, that's a demon soldier. That's not a dog. There's a couple demons up there. Okay. All right, so this isn't going to be the biggest cakewalk in the history of cakewalks, but it shouldn't be terrible. Shouldn't be. Dude, did we knock him over the wall? Hang on, don't wake up or anything just yet. Oh, no, we didn't. That would have been cool to watch him fly all the way over the wall like that. Shh. I don't fear you anymore. You hear that, guys? I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not stupid, but I'm not afraid. Brave, not stupid, remember? 
yeah, I, I love being able to, you know, just walk up and straight up beast all these things that I once, you know, was a lot more cautious about. And yes, I am currently sneaking around because, again, brave not stupid. I'm cool with just running in here with a pistol and a bat and feeling good about myself, but I'm also not going to try and wake up the whole county at one time. Oh, I feel bad. I shot you in the back. Did you have anything for me? Mm, automatic weapons and another map. Sweet. Oops. Oh, I see a... I see a big beefy boy right over there. One that goes boom. So this one's this one's got quite a lot of quite a lot of bad people in it. Uh huh. It sure do. We got three demons. Well, hold on, two demons. I don't think that one's a demon. What are you? Are you just a regular a hole? You are. You're a feral. Did you reload your gun lately? I can't hit you in the face. Don't wake up your buddies, okay? There we go. I don't think you're dead though, are you? No, you're resilient. There you go. Okay, one at a time. One at a time. Yep, that's a big beefer right there. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, one of the things I did do, Alsily, 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 is, let me see, while I'm standing here, there was another one, that a stealth assassin, was that it? Uh, no, that wasn't it. It was the Huntsman? Which freaking, which, which one did I just use? I can't remember. Hang on, let me see which one it was. Hell, I don't remember which one it was. I just I put a silencer on this one, and now rifles do a whole lot more sneak damage. Come on, Beva, stand up. You're embarrassing us. There we go. So now I can pew pew rapid shoot that, and it does a whole lot more damage. That's just amazing. That's just amazing. See, I totally feel like we're ready for the final the final uh, showdown over there in the place. Totally feel like we can absolutely rock that one. Got any good ammo for me? No, not really, but you got stuff I can sell if nothing else. All right, so also I'm staying in crash mode because it does highlight all the other idiots that I can see around here. And we've got so much of this ammo in this kind of gun, whatever. We might as well use as much of it as we can. Does this not easily connect with that over there? I thought it did. Guess not. I go over here and see having a point into parkour allows me to be able to fall off a two-story building and not break a leg. Shocking. Look at me being prepared for stuff. Hey, listen. I know. I see him. Now, with the rifle, I don't have the blessed... What in the hell am I... Uh-uh. The blessed metal mod? Great, look what you did. Gary, I need you to be quiet, dude. i going to nut shot you to death because you don't know how to be quiet. I'm trying to conduct some business out here. I don't have the same mods. What are you? Coil carbine barrel, coil carbine power armor chest plate? Ooh, that's new. It's a lower level, so I can't put as many mods on there. I'm rocking the titanium plate of Kevlar. Let's see, that's the light armor rating of 9. This one is... Light out rating at 12. See, the only downside is that it's only got two mod slots in there versus the one I'm wearing has got four. And I need those. Like for the vest right here, the bandolier mod, I need to have those two so I can reload faster and, you know, more inventory space there. That's, man, that's, at least we're getting some, you know, better level stuff. We got some power armor. That's not anything to, you know, shake a rock at or whatever the saying is. Anyway, what I was saying is I don't have the same mods on my um, rifle as I do, like, my pistol to be able to handle demons. Plus, this pistol is just really good at preventing demons from re uh, regenerating health versus the rifle is not. So, it's good for doing some long-range snipey snaps, but it's not going to help out a tremendous amount against the demons. Other than just the fact that it does quite a bit, a lot of damage. Alright, let's get you reloaded. Looks like there's going to be a chunk inside. Oh, Sorry, Tom. Didn't even see you there. You tripped over your buddy and he didn't even wake up. Y'all had a heavy drinking bender last night, didn't ya? Jiggles. She lost her top. Hey, look. Zombies. She woke up her... No. I'm sorry, I had to. I feel bad-ish. You know, nobody should be shot there, but... Eh. You're trapped back there, aren't you, lady? Hey, Gary. Are you trapped back there? Nope, you're not trapped back there. I can't get back there, but you can. Level 83, baby. 
Um, no. Can you stop? Oh, I can get back there. Nice. Awesome. Okay, well, let's check the equipment rack while we're here since we can't in any of the other places. I might as well just so I feel like I'm doing something good. Uh, stun baton. Meh. Search for shelf. Uh, sure, you're worthy of taking. You're not, but I'll take anyway because it's mine. All right, that's all the stuff from back here. Is your register anything in it? Money. A little bit. $43. Lovely. That's just lovely. So we still got one or two. Oh, we got a couple more that direction. But let's see if they brought us any good loots first. Gothic pants. Nah. I'm, I'll just scrap all that down. Some more money. I do want to get your books first so I can get the, the notes that I can scrap down if nothing else. You're not going to give me anything that I don't already have. Can't take you. Can't take you. We will go down underneath here in just a minute. All right, I think that's all of the lootable stuff that's upstairs. Let's see if we can go find the last couple idiots we have over here. I'm going to guess that they're right over that way. No, there's one right there. There's Carl over in the corner. All you had on you was a, a suit jacket, huh? Sells for 174 monies. After how much we just spent on that one power source, I probably should take that, huh? All right, Carl, we're going for a headshot here. Okay, we're going to try that again. What in the sweet... Danger, Will Robinson. Uh-oh. Hang on. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't do it. You thought about it. I saw you. I saw your pudgy self. Oh, hey. I didn't even see you there. I'm sorry. Calm down, sir. Calm down. Wait, where'd you go? I was coming over here to meet you halfway, dude. Come running up at me. Another soldier laying down. And that went way faster than I thought it was going to. Carl, did you bring me anything? I didn't I didn't think you did. Couldn't remember if you did or not. Oh, and there's another one right there. Ew, you got your squishy bits all over everything. Oh yeah, we still gotta find we gotta get the actual supplies too. They're probably gonna be upstairs. But hang on, we got another dot down there. Shoot you in the butt. I don't even feel bad, sir. Fold you like a taco. Yeah. All right, well, let's go up and see um, the scout, see if she's hovering over the hole like, you know, she normally is here. Screw you, bird. Haha, -ha, you didn't even see me. Oh, gun safe. Oh, it's already been opened. Well, that's just not right. A little bit of ammo. And we'll go ahead and pick you up. All we have left to do is kill just a couple more zombies, and we'll be all right. Hey, look, zombies. Where? Outside? If they're outside, I don't care. Okay. I will search you. Hey! Stupid dang bird. Where you at? Gotcha. Didn't even see you there. Hang on, somebody's trying to be an E over here. Skeletor? No. I'm trying to do something. Can you leave me alone? Thank you very much. Okay, we're just going to sprint through here because there can't be that many more bad zombies. <laughs> right? Is there anybody in there or is it up here? It's up here. It's Jiggles. I'm sorry. Oh, hell, we fell off. And then we got one more dot. Oh, probably underneath. Since we normally got to, like, fall in to get inside his thingamajig area over here. I'm going to guess we can probably get out, but I want to search these real quick. Yeah, sure, I'll search the truck. Ooh, nice. A battery and some free gas. Uh, you know what? I have a much better lockpick. See? Isn't that much better? Where are you? Are you in the bathroom? See, this is where we would normally fall in through the uh, fireplace over here. Your bookshelf is empty? Sure, we'll open up the door that we already opened. Why not? Were you cooking anything? A little bit of coal? Anything in your sink? A little bit of nastiness? Anything in the fridge? Some pears. Okay, um... No. No, no, no. Let me in. Let's just do it this way. We're missing somebody. Where are they at? See, I can't... Oh, there we go. Okay. I was about to say, it won't let me... What are you, on top of the house? Maybe there's a bird up there. That could very well be a thing, right? Yep, there's a bird right there. Got it! Ha-ha! Stupid bird! 
stupid bird was what was causing the problem. Imagine that, a stupid bird causing all of my grief. Ooh, stuff. Go ahead and take all of you, because you don't need it anymore. This place is nice and cleared, and I could use all the blueberries. Sure, coffee beans, since you're not going to make me any coffee, I'll make my own friggin' coffee beans. I could steal your planters too, but I'll be nice and leave those behind. Maybe, just maybe by the time I remember to come back over here, you'll be nice and uh, replant everything. Look at all of these little bushes over here. At first I thought those were little blueberry plants that about to go to town, but they're not. So we'll have enough time to go over and see Trader Dude. Turn this quest in, see if he gives anything, because we're in tier 3 quests and stuff right now, still, so I can't... I don't, whoa, calm down. I don't know how much more we have to go before we can hit tier four stuff. And we can start getting some of the really um, bigger peel wise. I would like to think that the airport we did was like a tier five at least, maybe a tier six. I could be wrong. Uh oh. Oh, hey, I didn't hit the tree. I should make that an alert basically the number of times that I'm surprised that I don't hit a tree instead of hitting a tree. Anyway, I don't know what that POI is considered, the airport that we went to, but we definitely, I mean, it took three days to get through it, and we went through all Sneaky Pete style, but it wasn't terrible. What you got for me? Each day, it must be my lucky Sledgy, day. generic Thank schematics, that's probably the most go. useful thing. I'll take you, and let me see, you are 665, and you're 473. I'll take you so I can sell you back. Cool. Cool. All right, let me sell a few things to you here, okay? Actually, if you just like buy all the stuff, that'd be great. Yeah, and that's about it. Automatic. You see, I'm pretty sure my automatic is good, right? Yeah, we're at 100 on that one. Now, what, what the hell did I put that skill point into? Oh, that's what it was under threat assessment. Okay, so I did find one here. See, rifles do 100% extra damage on headshots from here. Tracking distance increased to 100 meters and allows tracking of demons. Boom. Totally gonna put that in there. That's where I put the other skill points, and then I think I put one into huntsman here. Uh, or Stealth Assassin. One of the, I think it was Stealth Assassin. So I can do a little bit more on the Sneaky Pete stuff. So can I just, you know, come over there and search all your crap? The other guy let me do it. I thought we were cool, Joe. Thought we were cool, man. Clearly not. Well, it is kind of a bummer that we're this far... Um, we're so far away from being able to make anything on the laser workbench. I'm, I'm excited that we got one. But, you know, I, it was just as I as feared when I first started that, knowing that I probably wasn't going to be able to make anything for another 30 levels, basically. And, well, no. Uh, unless I somehow or another find a blueprint for it, which I don't even think is even possible. I'm not sure that's a thing or not. I've not seen it anywhere. So, uh, who knows if that's even a possibility. I'm not sure. Well, we have a whole lot of stuff we got to sort through before we can do a whole lot else here. We got just a ton of stuff. A lot of things that I need to... Let me see, like, you, I can scrap, scrap, scrap... And I'm apparently hungry. Well, fortunately, I did put the remote thing on here so I can use my stove and I can actually craft a whole bunch of things. It makes my life a lot easier. Man, having the broadcast mod, if I'm playing a game now that doesn't have it, I feel bad. I'm like, why? Why does this not have this in here? This totally should have this. It, it should be like in every single game at this point. But it's not, unfortunately. So I need to go through and stack up a bunch of this stuff. I've got a ton of things that I need to go through here tonight, and I need to figure out what we're going to be, uh, what we're going to do with uh, me getting some more rocks, which I can just beat on this out over here. I do have an auger, but I know that likes to draw on the attention of a lot of idiots, so that's why I don't really use that a lot. But I need to go through and get just a ton of rocks. Oh, this is so freaking fast! So fast! Holy cow! Yeah, so I'm going to finish up the last of the day before everything starts going crazy by gathering as much rocks as possible so we can make as much cobblestone as possible for all the repairs that we're going to need to do over on the base. Yes, I have a lot of cement, but I don't want everything, I don't need everything to be cement if I can make a bunch of cobblestone. And even if I do decide not to do cobblestone, I need the rocks for all the cement and stuff I'm going to be making anyway. So I might as well get these while I can. So, I'm going to bid you guys adieu. Tomorrow we're going to do some work on the base. Kind of get ready a little bit further for that next horde night's going to be coming in in no time at all, unfortunately. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.